Okay, back again. So, by popular demand, I understand that you guys all want to know how to round brush your hair, but you can't figure it out while I'm doing it on somebody's head. So I'm going to do it on me today so you guys can figure out where your arms go and how it works. So the first thing you want to do is you want to flip your head upside down to create volume, but you want to dry your hair about 80%. So it should just be a little damp by the time you're done. Or at least two, two and a half minutes, one song on the radio, or a long roll of commercials. So, that's how it works. Make sure you're on high heat. Holy fright! So when you flip your head up and you got visor bangs and everything's going crazy, you want to get out your handy dandy clippy. So of course I'm only using like a two inch brush for my bangs. I'm using a three inch brush for my length. It's a little bit short back here. So what I want to do is you know, blow dry down and under and then come back and do a flip. I use my blow dryer to help me support the hair. Your brush arm should cross your body and your blow dryer should be same size. See how when I blow dry up against my hair, it gets flying all over? Kind of a pain. So, why do you want to blow dry it down? Then you go around the parietal ridge. I'll be Twist that hair up and put it back on top of your head. So you're only going to deal with this part of your hair next. Any hair that's in front of your ear should always go down and under. The front of your hair shouldn't flip. I just think it looks kind of weird. So I always start on the right side. Once again, you blow dry down. Want your hair more flat? Blow dry straight down. If you want a little bit of volume, blow dry out a little bit. If you want to create a ton of volume, see how it makes the base of the hair kind of come out? That's how you make your hair big. My favorite. You know, you can't put the blow dryer under your hair. Just set the blow dryer down. Get that section of hair back in there. Blow dry down first and then flip the ends at the end. You know, I kind of jab at my hair and grab a big chunk.
triple axle. It looks easy when I do it. And there's always that spot in the back of your head you can't quite reach. you got to guess where it is. And you pull down that last section. And then also to create volume, you want to blow dry forward right down your part line. So wherever your part is. Blow dry down the hair, so from behind the hair. And then when you blow dry it back, you have more poof. And the top of your head should predominantly just go under. I can blow dry my hair in seven to eight minutes, maybe. So if your hair is shorter than mine, you can still look great. Don't have to get up any earlier. You can round brush your hair. You don't have to heat up that flat iron or scorch your hair in any other way. Just use your handy dandy blow dryer. <laughs> this apparatus here is called a blow dryer and your round brush. Thanks.